All right, so I added some pictures into our project, and well, if you look at it, this is a giant picture, and it's actually not adjusting to the way we want our product pages to look. So taking a look at components that we're gonna be using, I want it to actually look a little bit more like this. Our products are gonna look more like this than they are like this, right? We just need to make some changes to our home page. So let's go ahead and open up our project and home.html. Now the first thing I wanna do is I wanna fix the size of the image. It's fairly easy. All we do is do class and we add image-responsive and this will make sure that the image is no bigger than the columns it sits in or the div class of the columns that it sits in. So if I refresh, now the image, as far as the height goes, will fit, or excuse me, the width, it will fit inside of whatever we did. So if I change this to four and did that same thing that we did before, updated the cycles, it's gonna change accordingly. And that's the same as if we just change the size of the picture anyway, or the, uh, the browser. It will also update. Um, all right, so this is cool, but I saw this one, the components, right? So the thumbnail with some text and stuff like that. I wanna actually have this as our main part for our homepage versus what we currently have. So let's actually do this. And it's gonna be three across, just like what we do right here. Um, so in here I see like, oh, there's this div class thumbnail. Now we've already seen this stuff, but the thumbnail, image, caption, these things we haven't seen before. So let's go ahead and copy this stuff inside of it. So it's gonna be thumbnail. And we're gonna put it inside of column small of four, right? So this one is showing when it's small, it goes half. So let's change the browser size to see what it, that means. So now if I see the thumbnails scroll down, I see that it's now six, so it's gonna be half. Where when it's medium, it's gonna be three across and then lower than small, it's gonna be all the way across, right? So right here, all the way across. And that's the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna have it go all the way across when it's small. So I paste in that thumbnail stuff, right? So we see all these things that we can kind of work with. Now, first of all, the image one, well, we already did that with our for loop. So let's actually put this inside of that for loop below it. All right, so we have image in here and we'll do image.featured and we are gonna paste it into the image where the image set was, so right here, all right? And actually what we don't wanna have is the entire thumbnail inside of the image for loop. So let's actually grab this thumbnail div out of here and then everything below the image out of there. All right, so now we have thumbnail label. We can probably just grab this and paste it up here. I might want that to be linked. So let's actually link that entire thing. I'm gonna copy it and paste it here and here. All right, and then, par then the, the paragraph text, let's just do product.description and truncate words to like 20. Maybe actually let's do 15. All right, so it's gonna do the description and then it's going to uh, put dot, dot, dot after 15 words happens. That's what this filter does. Uh, and then we have a link here so we could say view that link should be going obviously to viewing the product. And then maybe the next one would be add to cart, but I'll just leave that empty for now. All right, so let's go through this a little bit. We've got our featured image, which would be right here. That's going into the thumbnail. I'm gonna just tab everything back. So that goes inside of this thumbnail. And then we can tab this back a little bit. Then underneath that will be our caption, which goes into this div here. And then this div closes off that thumbnail and then that one closes off the row or the column, the div column. So I'm gonna just tab those in a little bit. So then we've got this closing that, this closing the thumbnail, this closing the caption. All right, perfect. So let's save that, go back into our project, do a refresh. And now we see, hey, look, it's starting to look a little bit better. Um, we have our, pictures and our thumbnail and stuff like that. Um, this is good, so if we click on view, it's gonna take us to that product itself. Uh, I still wanna clean this up a little bit more in the future, but for now, we're just gonna kinda leave that as is. Um, I am gonna add one more product in here though, in products, just so we can make sure that our rows are separating. So product three, save that, and then we will add an image for it. 
actually better yet, if um, if there's no featured image, so if we scroll down, we see that there's there's nothing there. If there's no featured image, maybe we want to have a default image, like a placeholder image. Like I have a placeholder here, but I actually uploaded that to be a placeholder. Well, what if we wanted just an image for a placeholder? So if we go into components, uh, back into our thumbnails, if I scroll up a little bit, I can actually just grab one of these and just drag it. I'm going to drag it or save it onto my desktop. So save image as. I'm going to bring it into my e-commerce project, into the static, and then static files, image, and I'll call it placeholder. Notice it's .svg. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll put an if clause in here and do if product dot product image oops image set dot all so if there is even an image set then do that stuff else image class equals to image responsive and then source would equal to the static for that image so I'm gonna have to do static it's image slash what would we call it placeholder dot svg and put single quotes around that and close it off and we have to go to the top and make sure our statics loaded so we'll go up here and go load make sure it's curly brackets load static files all right so all this is doing is checking if there's an image set, then go through this stuff. If there's not, then we're gonna use our placeholder. So I'll do end if. All right, so now back into our, our project here. Ah, we got an issue with our placeholder, right? It's not actually showing up. And that's because we didn't collect the static. So if we do python manage.py collect static, override it, yes. Run server. Do a refresh. Ah, looks like it's still not coming through, so let's see what's going on here. And ah, we got did not have this break off here. So see that it has to close off just like that. Okay. So all I did was here is this should be replaced with an actual value. So that's all I was looking for is to see what that value was to see if it's there. And if there was a value there, I'd click on it and like I would go into a new tab and see if it exists. And in this case, it's not going to exist because, well, it's kind of a messed up link. Now, if I refresh it, it does exist. And now if I click into a new tab, it will show me that actual image. Cool. So that actually does work. That works just fine. So now it has a placeholder and that placeholder is take it only takes place if we don't have product images for it like what we see here I don't actually have one so for product 3 I don't have a set of images that are associated to it alright so if we go to view product we see all this that's good we don't see a whole lot yet so let's we can actually add in our images now for that individual product but before we do that we want to go in our views and since we have product in here we can actually use images I'm going to use product image um, as images so images equals to product dot product image set dot all just like that and that's going to set this new variable of images and we're going to say images images so now we can just loop through the images instead of using product image set um, but we could also do product images right so we can grab the model of product image this one right here we can import that and say I'm gonna comment this out for a second and then say images equals to product dot objects dot filter product equals to product so in this case this is doing the exact same as that uh, except it's filtering the objects based on the product versus grabbing what the product is and then getting the images the other way. So it's like kind of in reverse in a way. All right, so now we can replace either one and that's okay. Um, and then basically what we'll do then is we will come into our single.html where our images are. 
and I'm just gonna have my images come through so I'll just do four IMG and images and four so this is just like our home page where we're gonna be running through just like this so I can actually go ahead and copy this part and go into single paste that in and now change this to img.image because that's what I called it on this loop so now it's going to show the featured one and I'm just going to put an h1 for now to call it featured we will change that later but that's going to be the featured image and then after that we'll just say if item if not item featured so if it's not featured then we'll show something else we'll have a different image completely uh, but we will probably change it later so if it's not featured it's gonna it's gonna be smaller most likely alright so that's just for that for now so let's take a look at our product image looks like we have some issue here so let's go into our view and product objects filter that's actually incorrect it should be product image dot objects dot filter so let's try that again and let's make sure we're saved here looks like we're running into some errors there so I'm actually going to what I'm gonna do is uncomment out these try loops and see what those errors are uh, the error went away uh, that's because there wasn't actually any errors that time around when I fixed it but that would be a way to check it so like if we put it back to being product and I I commented these out then it will tell me that hey you can't resolve product into keyword these are the options for it um, and of course well that's only because I called it product so let's actually redo everything put it back to what we had it before which was product image alright so we refresh in here now we have product and there we go so we got the image coming through and that's okay um, so we don't have an item featured for some reason it's not coming through as featured so let's actually go into product one and we have create your own mobile app a few times so that's not what we want to see either uh, oh this is why so we called it item featured there we go so now it shows featured view product featured there that's much better all right so all it did there was if it's not featured image so I didn't have the image dot featured correctly so that actual um, conditional was failing so then it was just going through all the rest of them um, so yeah there's that we could also just change this to being if item featured and then else show the other items and I could say paragraph not featured right so featured and then not featured and that featured that not featured is above the featured and even another way to test it would be going back into our custom content and doing a thumbnail just like what we saw before um, we could do this exactly so let's go ahead and copy this this is going to be for the ones that aren't featured so down here this is where I'm going to put it and now an image source I'm going to just cut this right here change all of that to this and we'll get rid of not featured all right so if I refresh in here and I see now below that featured image we've got a smaller image below it uh, which is good so that's a good start uh, for actually showing our products um, we will actually clean this stuff up later uh, but for now we can see now we have our products we have the ability to view them uh, we can also add in you know price and all that stuff which we will do uh, but for now I just want to leave it as is the only thing that I might actually want to change is is the size of that featured one uh, to being just a little bit smaller um, so I'll do that with this and then I'll do image featured six and then extra small will be half there we go so now that featured image is just a little bit smaller and we have the ability to see uh, the other images and notice okay so we have all of these images now and featured is down here so it's not perfect yet we still have some work to do as far as how this is gonna look but it's getting there so in the next one we'll actually do a search function so we can search through our products and show those as results and then we'll start working towards building our actual shopping cart and of course fixing these product pages 
All right, we'll see you soon.